So like I said, I'm redoing the same flip cup on you know, 12 by 12, I believe. Yeah. So the only difference uh, with this one is I'm going to actually add silicone to everything. Because why not? Except my white. White's the base color. So as you saw, I threw my purple stick on the ground. No, you didn't. Uh, because, yeah. <laughs> my bad. I was on my uh, first filming. That didn't work out. I still have my dehumidifier running, so I flipped it. So for the big colors, I guess I'm going to be using Grumbacher in Prussian Blue. I'm also going to be using Rio Tech Purple in Artist Loft. Er, Rio Tech Purple in Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. I like it. Um, I really do like using this iridescent medium. It's different for sure. Okay, so there's those two. And then for my small cuppies, I'm gonna add Artist's Loft in silver. And I'm also going to add, well, <laughs> the piece, I guess, um, Windsor Newton and Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. Um, it dried real nice, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> ah, I'll show you it in a minute. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting with it right now. So. Add, ooh. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that purple got a lot more silicone than I thought it was. Okay. I'm interested to see how that's gonna work out, to say the least. Mixy, mixy. I'm also trying not to like spill it everywhere because that would stink. So I'm hoping that I can get smaller layers this time. And I'll still do the same like blue. Yellow. Blue. Purple. Your iridescent medium is real different, eh? Purple. Wait, no, that's blue. Oh, go, go brain. Purple. Okay. I'm hoping that should be okay now. I don't see that causing too many problems. Like, never know. I don't know, that's different. <laughs> I wanted to do the same thing, but not at the same time. That is not center. Um. Like, I do like the metallic purple, but I wanted to make my own purple to see what the difference would be. So now that that's doing that, I'm gonna baby powder my hands. And myself, apparently. So I can put on some gloves. 
learned my lesson. Don't put it in the gloves. And maybe put them on the right way. <laughs> Please? There we go. Just don't break on me. Not to self, blow on them first. There we go. That's better. Kind of. Like, they don't. They're weird, okay? I don't. I don't mind. Um. Now that I've baby powdered myself so thoroughly. <laughs> Let me just move some stuff and try to show. That sounded terrible. Okay, so this is how. The one with the way too much yellow ended up. It does look nice dry. Um, you can see the silver poking out in spots, which is cool. The metallic purple kind of just disappeared though. So I'm hoping I can redeem myself with this one. It's like mostly purple and yet it completely like disappeared somehow. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Huh, whatever. Also, I have a neat experiment coming up in an upcoming video. Uh, the next video I release will be how I, f uh, mix, not mix my paints, sorry, how I fix my canvases that I've scraped. So I like going back to having a white base on my canvases. So yeah, I think I'm going to cut that part out actually. Okay. Move these things out of the way. Grab my palette knife. So I'm gonna try and do something a little different this time. I'll really do that with my paint. And just see if I can get some like, only really around the cup and not have to spread it all over the canvas. I just want it there to help the paint right so oh well okay never mind i guess i am spreading it all over the canvas because there's a lot of a lot more paint there than i thought <laughs> i was gonna try and do something different okay goodbye clump that was gross looking clumpy thingy okay cup stop running away okay Yay! I'm just getting my one edge because, well, there's a lot of paint on this pot knife, and there we go. That looks decent. Want to wipe it off? Gotta wash this rag, kind of, somehow. I don't know. There we go. Soul City. Am I right? You can see the little yellow bits coming up. I'm excited to see this when it's torched. Oh, ew.
I gotta run that edge off a little bit more now. I can just get this like that. Right? There. That looks... I like it. It looks really different, that's for sure. Especially with the way it is like... Alright, let's see what happens with the torch. I really didn't add too much yellow this time, if anything. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm like comparing the two, which is, I, I know, right? Considering I use the same, pretty much the same colors. And just a different, like, I really like this layering method. I should come up with the name of it. I've never really seen anyone else do it this way. So why not, right? <laughs> This is neat. I really do like this. I like the little bits that are popping up. Uh, happy I added silicone to everything. That's for sure. Just to be a little bit different. Oh, wow. Also, I fixed my one light, if you can tell. It's a lot brighter down here now. Woohoo! So, yeah. I will get you down for a close-up because this is, like, too cool not to. By far. This is so cool. Like, I wasn't even expecting it to be so... I don't know. It reminds me of, like, a sunset almost. In a in a weird sense. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below. Like this video if you like this painting. Like, yeah. Oh. Ha! Oh, so amazing! Share with your friends to spread the love. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.